Hello everyone, welcome to uh, the first uh, review of Matanda on Fan Vlog. Um, we are here with uh, Neumu Lefe and uh, a special guest, uh, Lebo. Uh, I didn't even know whether to call you Lebo or Lee Matlaku. <laughs> Matlaku is my other name. <laughs> oh, so Matlaku is not even your surname, it's your other name. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, um, so Lebo is here. Uh, whether you refer to her as Lebo or as Matlako, uh, Humu Lebo is here, uh, and obviously I'm yeah. here. Uh, we're here for a debrief or a post-mortem of uh, Mamluri Sundowns versus Kaiser Chiefs um, in eight first round. Uh, why, why wouldn't we have Lebo here now after that uh, legendary pin tweet of hers? So, um, Good, good first half. Um, second half was so dicey and so dodgy. But uh, I don't know what did what did you guys make of that match? Uh, Lee, you are our guest, so you'll go first. Um, Reggie Tom got the starting lineup. I was not really confident with the starting eleven, but the first twenty minutes, your first half. The guys came into party and yeah, I was happy with the performance the first half. But the last 15 minutes, that's when they were making a lot of mistakes. Hence the first goal they achieved. Mm. No. But overall, first half, oh. I was happy. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh with with in the beginning of the seasons, you know, it's very tough for us South African football fans to make comments kind of starting and not bringing in because obviously we go into the games got what we have from last season because nobody knows what happens that preseason. For example, I'll take it to my to the England clubs that we support. You you can go onto the Liverpool TV or whatever and see their preseason friendlies and see who's doing well. Can I come on, uh, Chikimas, the, the, the defender in Liverpool, you know, you guys didn't panic Mabane Hatoma because he did well in the preseason. So with us, uh, sometimes our teams hide that they're playing fixtures for some reason. Uh, they hide those things. So we don't know such things. But uh, that's why I didn't want to make the comment that I'm starting line up. And I think I, I, I was proven I was proven right because uh, I think all those guys, they shouldn't have been in the starting lineup. They played well. Kunso Mudao played well. Kennedy yeah. Nguyen had a fantastic game. Um, Motobin Vala had played re- uh, relatively well. So uh, I think, yeah, the coaches knew what they were doing. Uh, it's just that, yeah, first half we played really, really well. I liked how we played. And as Lee said, it was just in the, the, the last 15 minutes of the of the first half where we started to lose concentration. Uh, and it's, it's, it's so disappointing that it's some of the our key players that uh, we're starting to lose concentration and we lost yeah. uh, control, especially in the, in the defence. Yeah, uh, but again, now a lot of people, like especially like in the spaces we were in, like the, the space we were in, uh, on the vlog before the game, a lot of people were saying the starting lineup like threw them off. And, you know, sometimes like you, you, you are in your mind so much because like, nah, to be honest, I, last week Tuesday, I watched Sundowns play 11 v 11 and, I said to myself, I, there's no way Mkubin Vala is not starting our first game of the season because the guy, I, like the guy, was doing so well. <laughs> you were, but like, I think I told you now, like I told you, I told Ovi, I was like, there's no way now Miami is not getting involved in the first game of the season. Mkubin Vala is definitely starting. Like I saw it. I even said Safranco is gonna make the squad because he was balling. Vala was balling. Miami was balling. Uh, Swisson Govini was balling. So. What you're saying now, Neo, like makes so much sense because you can't blame people for n- not trusting the starting lineup because they didn't see anything in preseason. No one said anything. There wasn't even like an update from the coaches to say like, hey, we've we've had preseason games, maybe day three, or even we played uh, at the forty minutes day three against uh, Barroca and whoever, and that's how we're doing. The players that were doing well, things like that. So. When the starting lineup came out, people like expected to see Jali, Riva, Mkulis, uh, you know, yeah. the normal names. And it's, I think especially because it's Chiefs. And I think another thing is that uh, 
push pizza really like uh, uh, got into our heads in a in a good way and maybe sometimes in a bad way because not to be honest with you, like I never make much of the M8 and I always say, Hori, I never make much of the starting lineup some at home or the season. It's like going into a tournament mm-hmm. and making a noise about the first starting lineup. It it never it it never last season like the first game of the season, Nico Mobi played and he was never seen again. So. You you can't really make much of it, um, but n- n- when coming to the hot topic, um, before the game, uh, uh, I, I there was no way that guy was not starting from what I saw last week. And to be honest, I think Kaja, you know, we first fifteen minutes, you, you know, like how um, Pizzo used to like say, well, like you must break down the game, like the first forty five minutes, like first fifteen minutes, you are trying out your combination plays, you are sussing each other out. Second 15 minutes, you go gung ho. Mm-hmm. Then third 15 minutes, you consolidate and you go into half them. And also, depending on how you're doing. So today, like it was classic case of us playing combinations in the first 15. Second 15, we went gung ho. We could have scored 10 goals, like in the yeah yeah from fi- from minute 15 up until like minute uh, 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 20, like whatever. Like we could have scored 10 goals then, and but. It wasn't to be, and then we lost concentration in the last 15 minutes of the first half, and mm. Nat Parker rose in between Libusa and Deruk. I wasn't really happy at Deruk. I don't know what you guys make of... of yeah, same. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Same. Uh, same. Yeah. yeah. I, th- I thought I thought uh, Deruk had a, 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 a below-average game today, and um, not only got, got the... F- first goal he achieved, like some of his clearances and I thought sometimes he had a lot of lapses in concentration, but I guess it's tuition fees because uh, uh, Duruk, we must also remember that he came in mid-season because and, you know, mm-hmm. still, he still, we still need to give him time, man. Duruk, now I, I give him a lot of uh, uh, similarities. I, I compare him a lot to the late Mocheka, Mocheka Marisha. Mocheka Marisha, uh, not everyone, like a lot of us were patient with him and I want us to, yeah. to, to remain patient. Look at Duruk. Obviously, because of Duruk has matured now more than Marisha back then. So, but I remove two, three years. No, let's give him time there. Now, I really mistakes. Because he's played re- relatively well then ever since Alcos announced. But I thought today he had like a, a below average game. Uh, what did you make of, of performance at defense at Nagaja and Olevo? Defense. Um, personally, I think the Ryukli Libusa they both had an excellent game. I don't know, but the Ryuk came through for us so many times, even though he was making a lot of mistakes. Mara, he came through for us at some point. Even no Libusa, yeah, Libusa had an, uh, had an excellent game. Yeah, um, it's, it's so it was so funny for me to see Buffer Kennedy win a man of the match. Uh, first goal, I don't know. No, do you think do you think first goal? Do you put it more on on our defense or on Kennedy? No, I think Kennedy couldn't have come out for that cross. I think uh, I think it was first of all it was a for for for, for I think first of all our marking was poor in that situation. Um, yeah. And then, um, yeah, I think in that situation, I'm working as well. So we can't put anything on Kennedy yet uh, because, uh, yeah, I think first, first goal that achieves, you know, we can't, we're going to put it on Kennedy. I think he couldn't have come out for that cross. I don't think he could have come out for that cross. Yeah, what, what was annoying is that when they beat us, call off us, the first goal came from that very same spot. Like, the yeah. same yeah. spot. In between the space that's left by Lyle and Libusa, like <laughs> it really annoys me, Hore. Where we have our strongest center back is where we we concede. Um, I can't say the most, but most recently against Chiefs is 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 where we we considered from. But, oh, I, I don't know. Um, it's just that like I think games against Chiefs little on like they are sometimes we are too emotional to even properly analyze it because a game against Chiefs is a game we always want to win and uh, after you win mm. uh, I, uh, your your mind is, is 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 all over the place because beating this team yeah. especially beating Chiefs any penalty it's not something that 
we've 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 done before. So it it feels so good. And I saw a lot of people saying Kennedy was was off his line um, three times. And I think I saw him off his line twice. But then again, you can say. I think I saw. Huh? I think I saw him off his line. I think I saw him off his line with of all four penalties he saved. Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh so it's saw, true. Yeah, you are off his line. Or Zakelo was sleeping today. Yeah, but like even in even in the in the even in the in regulation time, like we had a penalty shot. Um, yeah. At one point, Victor Gomes, it's like nothing made it to his whistle because there were so many fouls that were not given, and not just from from our side, even from the side of the Chiefs. There were so many fouls, and there yeah. were so many instances where like he had to make a decision, and I think. Just felt like you know what, let this game just continue, and I'm not gonna make the decision. Uh, but officiating, I mean, guys, like first week of uh, opening weekend, like uh, technically opening weekend of the league, there's so many mistakes. Uh, but yeah, like I think yeah. it's, it's the story of it's the story of the PSL. But all in all, now I think the first half performance uh, was very good, even individually. Like for like, all, I don't think there was a player who. Wasn't pulling their weight in the first half. Uh, yeah, I think Mugawu in the first half was brilliant. I think Laila K was very, very brilliant. Uh, Libusa and and Deruk were okay. Like they had a solid performance. River was absolutely beasting. Mvala was top. Hashim Domingo really proved that he started today. Shalulile was Shalulile. Temba was dancing. Um, who else did I not mention in the starting lineup? Um, Mm. Oh, Obrimudiba. Um, Obrimudiba was very, very. Yeah. I thought I was. I was telling. I, I was watching the game with with someone, and I was telling them, uh, for me, the best four four best performance for Sundowns was that front four. Was that okay? He got a front four. I'm including Le Le, Le Domingo because he was play, basically playing okay. in the in the ten row. Uh, I thought uh, Obri. Shalulile, Temba, and, and and Domingo were really good in the first half, and uh, I thought they combined really well. Uh, they threatened Chiefs a lot, and yeah, I thought I thought I thought we, we could have scored more goals. I think we had about two or three opportunities where we took too many touches in the in the Chiefs box, where we could have uh, uh, maybe uh, Shalulile took a shot, but I, I, he chose to lay it off for someone else, for Mudiba or, or Temba Zwane. But yeah, I thought. Those four players really like made an impact today. Like they really had a good game. Yeah, I think even like Obri, like he was so good as an inverted winger. Like, uh, it, and I like what he was doing. It was so deceiving because you, you you would think he's having too much time on the ball, but he was just throwing out either Cardoso or Santi. And I think. I think Santi today, yes, as he ended his money for his debut game for Chiefs. I think he really ended his salary today. Um, yeah. I was really happy the first half. The only thing that really disappointed me was the second half. I think second half, I don't know if maybe we were deflated by by that goal by Parker or or what. Yeah. And I think I, look, I think we could have done better. Um, sorry, sorry to to cut you off there. Um, I was I was. As I said, I told the, the people I was watching the game with keep up with someone, guys. If Chiefs score one goal before uh, 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 halftime, sometimes will capitulate. This thing will end two two. Sometimes will go penalties by losing because you know how how against penalties against Chiefs are. But past experiences we have need, need penalty against Chiefs. For me, if the game didn't end in ninety minutes, for me it was already done. I was just watching that game because. Uh, uh, where, 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 what, what are we doing right? I knew we were not going to score like, extra time, but I, I was just watching that game to see. And fortunately, at the end of the day, Re- who Kennedy came through for us and we could win it. Yeah. Penalty. But I, I, I said it that if Chiefs, we allow Chiefs to score one goal before half time, then they're definitely equalizing at some point. And yeah, and that's what happened exactly. It happened. Yeah. Yeah. Um I think we can go into we can go into the ratings, um individual players' ratings. Uh and I think it's gonna be tough because it's like whatever rating you had in mind, holy but let's first half, like now you question it because of the second half. Uh 
But either way, uh, either way, uh, let's let's go into the ratings. Uh, today, I like the fact that it's the three of us. So if we don't agree, there's a tiebreaker. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, 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 Lebu, you you have uh, first dibs on uh, Kennedy Moena. Uh, out of ten, how much do you rate Kennedy Moena? A nine, actually. He considered two goals, guys. But he saved three penalties. But he came through for us. You understand? Come on. Hey, Kennedy came through for us, guys. You? No, he didn't. I agree agree with them. No, no, no. Definitely. So you you are giving... Nine is a a fair rating. So you are saying no one... It means if you don't don't have a 10 down the road, it means no one outperformed Kennedy Gajan. No. Nah. Wow. No one performed better than Kennedy today. You see, I told you her chips are emotional. Just because he said that he's against <laughs> this. <laughs> no, 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 no. No. No, he did a he did, he did a fantastic job today. He came no, through the yeah. Um, yeah. But it's like it's like Kennedy with Denise. They sort of proving to you why they're still there. I mean Denise, like in that final, he saved two penalties. Then Kennedy, like six years after, he saves three penalties in a shootout. So, yeah. Uh, Lele like, hey. K. Now, rate Lyle. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah, I'll read Lyle. Uh, I thought Lyle was, was brilliant, in the, especially in that first half. I thought, uh, so uh, uh, I thought even like, Stuart made a change at some point. He moved Sokota from 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 the right to the to the left and brought Billy at the side. I, and I thought it was brilliant from Baxter because of the game that Lyle was having. Nanya who Lyle have the defensive responsibility so that he's not uh, as effective uh, on the on the overlap because Lyle nothing gets it on the side. Like he was having so so much fun on the Chiefs right side. And I thought uh, the cross that he put in for that that that. Uh, first goal, yes, I don't need it. Uh, must come outside as always, man. Uh, <laughs> like he's so so clear, he's so so clear. I mean, how many goal contributions ever since uh, Africa was announced? I mean, yeah. especially at the back, yeah. So, I think, uh, but can I afford Lyle anything? I don't think so, I, except for the fact that you mentioned what a goal, yeah, yeah, chips comes. From that side, yeah, hi, yeah, that goal, yeah, yeah, Nukovic got the first, the own goal, yeah. Nukovic got goal of Tarsi, Liga the 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 equalizer, not the equalizer, the, the first goal, yeah, Park I achieved. I think uh, Lyle, uh, a six point five. I think that's a fair rating. Mm. Yeah. It is six point five or seven. Wow, you generous. No, I think this is. Even the Not second goal came that. from this side. Even the second goal came in between Ali Libusa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, uh, six point five is fair. Yeah, I think six point five is fair as well. Uh, yes, Libusa, it's it's the same, it's the same thing. Uh, I will say about Lyle because both goals came from his side. Um, mm. I don't know. Uh, I think in the first half everyone was so good, but in the second half, uh, it wasn't really convincing. It's hard. Exactly. So I think Libusa, I'll give him. I think I'll give Libusa a five. But if you're giving Libusa five, then how how much are we gonna give Rushin? Because. Lubusa was way better than the general team today. <laughs> it, means but no, it's fine. it means we must be honest about Rushi. Yeah. It means we must be honest. I was saying that you're, th- you're throwing Lebu under the bus here. Uh, if she had given Lubusa five, then she, she had rating for, 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 for Rushi has to be very low. Like, rude, Lebu. What's your rating for Rushi? Maybe give them both a six. No ways. No ways. Machine in the second half wasn't that good. In the first half, yes, but in the first half, in the second yeah. half, I think his performance in the second half, like it dipped. So, whatever rating he had in the first half, he, he can't, he can't re- 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 uh, retain it 
Yeah. No. No, I, I honestly feel like routine is a 4.5 today. In the, in the first half, it was okay, but in the second half, I wasn't happy. No, I agree with you, but no, no, I agree with you. 4.5 is a fair rating for, for Roshin because, um, yeah, yeah as we, I think we pointed out enough in the beginning for why he had a below average game, a, a game today. Yeah. I think Lisa Mudau had a very good game in the first half, but in the second half, he, he was found wanting and Actually, there's something wrong about Puliso when he gets into the final third. I, I, I can't put my, my finger on it. Um, I don't know. You guys, give me a rating for Puliso. Puliso. Uh, Puliso had a good game, guys. Uh, I'll give him a 6.5. <laughs> I, I, think, I think a 6. Maybe not a 6. Or 7. <laughs> They was trolling us at always seven. <laughs> no, I think I think a six because of because of the second half. Um, for me because of the second half, I think the six. I thought I thought in the first half he really did, did well, especially because our Kimang Onamo Maki like Kamavilla is just like not in anybody. I think he did well, and then he 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 played well until he got into that final third. So I think, yeah, man, uh, I think a six. Kent, what do you think? Yeah, no, I agree. I agree. Fair. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Rivaldo, today, it, it looked like he was quiet, but he was very efficient and effective. Um, yeah, he was a bit quiet. Yeah. But the thing about Rivaldo is that sometimes he goes into like this moment where like you don't see much of him, but he's he's still yeah. like uh, uh, dishing out the goods. Uh, and one thing about Rivaldo is that he will average two or three like those attacking passes to high like the one that found Shalili when we played Tarets in the net bank up that's the one thing I like about him uh, is that he's not just a six who will just recycle the ball like come on to coach Rulani he will give you a difficulty so I don't know uh, Lebu what's, what's your rating for Rivaldo? Five that's fair. That's fair. Uh, Neo, I'd love to hear your rating on Mvala. Ah, this is this is where I come in. I thought I thought Popa was very very good. Not not very good, but he was he was good. He was good. He did what he was there for. Uh, uh, and who could destroy him? Um, Tobin Valo. Tobin Valo is not there to give you a champagne pass whatever he's there to destroy and cause destruction in, in the middle of the park and I thought he did that he got an assist even uh, uh, for, 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 for Temba's run his goal uh, but I thought I thought also to show how, how well Mutobi Mbala did when, when when he came off and Andile came in there wasn't that much of a difference like in the middle of the park like the difference in the team but it wasn't that huge obviously Andile Jan's quality will forever bring you you know, a different dynamic when you have him on the pitch. So I think Nambala, I'll give him the same rating as Lyle, 6.5. Mm, yeah, I agree with you. Uh, I think uh, same goals performance-wise for Hashim Domingo. I think Hashim Domingo uh, was superb, especially like in terms of like how he pressed the Chiefs uh, uh, line and the Chiefs midfield. I think he, he did very, very well. Uh, he was very involved uh, wasn't hiding, like never hid in the game, and he was involved. Like when we were building up, he was involved. Uh, when we were looking for the ball, he was involved. So what he did of the ball and on the ball, I was really happy about. Especially like mm-hmm. his ball retention. Like he retains the ball so well, doesn't easily lose it. If he loses a ball, it's probably a foul. So that's the type of midfield that we want to turn down. And those are qualities So that's that's a good level to be at. Um, I think I'll give Hashim, I'm not sure, between a 5.5 and a 6. I'm not sure. Yeah. I also agree. Yeah. Six. I think, uh, I think a 6. I think a 6 is a good enough rating. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, number one. Ah, oh, Shikabal. Did, oh, did you see man. what? <laughs> I mean, you know, Lee, do you want to go first? Let Lee go first. Um... I'll give him Shisha 7.5 to 8. 
Livu is so generous with no, I think sometimes I come here Kilivu is the, the worst because Livu is the best Livu is up for the best <laughs> Can I take the best no. guys? <laughs> no boy Mshishi you know no, you know Mshishi Mshishi must have yeah no Mshishi boy what collector from the middle of the park you know he and today as as well after Arinta the next time after Arinta uh, uh, she was playing was playing in midfield with, with Andy Lejali and he was still so so good like Tambazwani and even before that when when, when, Ruba, when Riva looked a bit tired at that time Tambazwani was coming to collect the ball yeah. from in the, the center, center backs Go, go through it more pack boy Thomas Ramin is a special special breed boy and nothing I agree with 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 there was rating and I agree uh, I agree with it like because the first half Tembo was unplayable uh he was dancing all over the Chiefs defense and second half like another thing about him Chiefs, he's so durable man like Aotela doesn't get injured never cramps out in a game when when Chiefs, he wobbles out cramp or whatever you must know it's serious I had someone in the spaces saying other players make Temba play, but he doesn't make them play. And I nearly lost my mind. Do you know Sundowns play through Temba? I like, do you know we play through that guy? Like, he's a playmaker, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Tarulile. What rating? Oh, man. <laughs> uh, am I going first? Yes, go. Yeah. Look, Peter, uh, our, our, uh, the other day we did a studio about spaces. We did a, a preview space the other day where we, we, we predicted the football of the season's arena. And I said, with, without a doubt, uh, uh, Peter Shalili will do a back to back player of the season. Peter Shalili is so, so good, man. It's like there's little that he can do that's wrong, it's, except when he's, he's missing chances. And today he didn't get that many chances that he missed. Peter Shalil is so, so good. Uh, he took that goal well, headed it into the ground. Uh, Isaac Nathana Chance. Isaac Nathana Chance. And I thought he was linking up well between himself and Domingo and Aubrey and, 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 and Temba's one. Uh, yeah, so I think both Peter, a, a bit higher than, a bit higher than uh, Domingo, Domingo. Then kept them on 6.5 a couple. Or Lyle, a bit higher than Lyle and Mutori, but a bit lower than Timbers one. So I'll give Peter a seven. Yeah, yeah. yeah I agree with you with your rating. I Another think... thing about Peter is that he outlet arena, like whenever the ball illegal goalkeeper, you know he's our outlet. Start playing. Uh, and those are things that sometimes you won't see. Personally, I was really happy about um Obrimudi was performance, especially in the first half. Even in the second half, like Havamunsa, I felt like uh, they were taking out the wrong guy. But I understand mm-hmm. the Gore with Mshishi and Sharuli, you might ha- you might still have a goal in the extra time. So Obri had run his has had run his his uh, uh, his race in the game and uh, they had to take him out for Safranco. But I th- I thought he was very, very good. Uh he troubled Santi a lot, he troubled Cardoso a lot and I think I don't really know like what was the the message from the coaches to him, but I <laughs> I'm inclined to believe that he executed it well because I think that was a very good performance. Uh, I will rate Aubrey six point five. Is that a fair rating? Yeah, it is. Actually. Yeah, I was I was also gonna say something between six and six point five, but I'll take a six point five. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm happy to hear that. Uh, and that concludes the entire starting lineup. Now we can go into the subs right now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Andile Jali. Uh, I let me let me put it out there first before you guys go because I feel like maybe Lee might have a higher rating for Andile, but I honestly feel like Andile didn't. Uh, as, okay, Andile will always do what he does best in terms of uh, w- winning the ball, like uh, cutting the cutting passing lanes and uh, sort of initiating play. But the Andile Jale that I know, like, gives you way more than what he gave us today. And to be honest, yeah. I don't think there was much that he gave today that we didn't get from other midfielders. I don't know what you guys think. Yeah. You know, 
Yeah, no, no, no. I, I agree with you. He wasn't, he wasn't the AJ that we we, we usually know. Uh, but I think also like first game of the season, we see some there's some players who need like time to keep going and um, yeah. But with that said, I thought uh, when 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 he came in, ka ka ka, ka second ka second half, uh, our passing in the midfield improved just a bit and. Yeah, I yeah. think uh, we. Yeah, I think he proved. Obviously, and another thing we didn't mention: give Kipichi a couple of guys. Some of it wasn't easy to play, but like to play Bolomo Fats on the ground. Kipichi like a couple of people, and uh, yeah, I thought. But I thought, I thought when when Andile came in the second half, we improved in 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 ball retention in midfield, and yeah, we did very well with that. Uh, I don't know, level. Are you gonna rate Andy? <laughs> <laughs> but at least, at least put this just some stability in in the middle field. Yeah, why was I going to read that? Like, I want to know why you don't want to read Andil. <laughs> <laughs> um. Okay, let me try. Yeah. Maybe F I. That's a fair rating, actually. Perfect rating. That's yeah. a perfect rating. <laughs> yeah. That's another that's giving rating. me higher rating. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a perfect rating. No, that, that's a perfect rating. Um, who kind of who came on? Oh, Tapelo came on and Dylan, eh? Yeah, Alisa, Alisa Frank. Uh, what do you make of Tapelo's performance now? Uh, I thought, I thought, Lena, he was good when he, when he came in. It's just that, Lena, you know, Kurusu sometimes they have the same problem. Uh, Tapelo, it's not that he has a problem entirely in the final t- third, it's just that he crossed yeah. the high, he's up far. All the time, Tabellos crosses us up part. But I thought he, he, yeah, he, he had he had his mark on the game. I thought, but I think I thought we 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 got energy, more energy on the right. Uh, we got fresher legs first of all in a pacey player. Uh, that's that was that was running at the Chiefs' defense. Also, like obviously, like Lena, he when he, when you have Tabello as a part of your your attack, a hand attacker, you 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 add an extra threat. Uh, someone yeah. who's better than Kuli, so going forward, obviously, that's not even a secret. So I thought, yeah, I thought he did well when he came on Tapelo. He did relatively well. It's just that the cross the high are, are the ones that put me off. I think Tapelo, um, five, I think, might be too high. I think uh, 4.5 for Tapelo. I'll take it because a night didn't have a yeah, uh... yeah, I think I'll take it. I'll take it. Uh... <laughs> so Franco. <laughs> yeah. No, you guys must read that comrade. You guys must read that comrade. I'm, I'm saying no, that. No, Kenzan must read him. Actually, I want to see something. Yes, Kenzan. No, this is this is your one. We are throwing it to you. <laughs> we are giving it to him. You know what? The, it's not every player like who will come and 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 show you re, the the real deal. Like I remember. Nah, last season, I don't want to lie. I didn't want the signing actually. Like, I didn't feel it. And I remember the, after the first game against Celtic, uh, M10-8, Neo said, you know what? I know we lost, boy, but I'm telling you, Shalili is the real deal. You're going to see this season. And uh, I'll, always, <laughs> did. I'll always, always go back to those ways because, like, I really <laughs> did see, like, the, the man won play of, of the year. And... And I know now, now even with European players, he'll tell you an, about a 19-year-old player, and then in three years' time, Otto Kabari, Onyagaki, whichever team for 80 million. So, but mm. and then some t- some players, but like even like Castro, when Castro came, you could see there's something here. Shalilile, even though Nagai won, but at least someone now saw it. Uh, Afonso, you saw something, and Afonso was lucky because Ufi Tilekana Kwenongori, like we were in a very good space and we were winning games, and then Arufi said, okay. oh, Marasa Franco. Oh my Yo. god. Oh my god. Tell us your part. No, no. Let's go. Let's go emotional. If it's game, let's go emotional. I know. Like, okay. I know. Marano, now I won't no. crucify him because it's his first game. But yeah. you can't come, you can come first game here how Ile against Kaiser Chiefs and where is that you lose it? And you the penalty Ile. Like, you forgive you against Chiefs. 
Arut lo mas. Oh, so much at So from who's gonna have? And but and you know what's funny? When I saw him, no, good training last week. I swear, all black guys are Safranco looks like he's the business. I didn't yeah. see much in terms of like, but like Linka player I was good, and like Nashapaldi chip zeding like I could see who okay, there's a player here. Yo, but zeding one engage no, yo, ah no, for real. Like I wish this is a glitch in the system. Like we do like cox cox space, but Safranco is still defrosting. So I hope what defrost I get made. I need. I hope so. <laughs> No, had defrost. No, for no, but, no, but no, no, from, no. From, from, from here going forward, guys, we are clear that uh, he's not ready to start for for my reason, not unless if he's not injured. Yeah, yeah he's not. Ready to start. He made the job he's easy not. for Bokutume, like But like if I'm Mutu, Bokutume, like I relax, like okay, my chance is so is so near. If Shaluli le or Irasma Sabat in Kotlala, hundred percent sure. So Franco is gonna have to work his socks off, like to convince us. Like Adiboni. Ah, uh, one moto. I think Le Le Broki was better. That's on our way. We cannot afford to have another fraud, guys. Ah, well, so we're gonna push beats our home. We're not gonna fight. We're not gonna fight like you, but for them, for them, for them, we're gonna have to be like Adiboni. Not, not my broken again. Like, okay. No, no, I think of it. It's a strike for a It's a defensive striker, boy. Another clean sheet for Safranco. No. I want to let you see the ball, At least I, I'm like, hey, this guy has the balls to take the first penalty in his debut. Like, against, like, our bitter yeah. rivals, Scary Cup competition. We think I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, our boy, I also got to tell him win the boy. No ways. Ah, what guys? Ah, <laughs> no, ah, for that boy. penalty, Ella Honey, like he got the worst. No, uh, Safranco is getting a two from me, guys. It's a two. two You're having a bad game. You miss a penalty. And two. It, two. No ways. No. Imagine oh. if Kennedy Moena like didn't pull off the heroics that he pulled off. Never hope like give me a who is Safranco to an Yeah. Okay. That's true. <laughs> So we, we we officially have our first two of the season. That's yeah, crazy. officially first first game. We're only two out of ten. Of the, like, wow, what's up, Franco? But it's a heavy. Wait, what? Nahan, Nahan. Ola, what? What's that guy going to say, Franco? Eh, Gar Slovakia yeah, or somewhere. Or never when I. Oga vele plaga ya horba roke. Eh, Rauhira, Gar Slovakia. Wa fitla Gar Slovakia. Wa ezai lizo suna lizel. Aye boy, but leave me leave me the bagat. No, but the thing is that when you're working in foreign land, Otanzo fit for once with us. I do lose the Franca. I want to wish I really want Monor Mutuli Mergo, or better tagging from the outlet Mergo. He's working Motoro Taka in a pro, nega precision, Mona. Yeah, but from one from one horrific uh, debutant to one very good debutant, I think Neoma was good today. You, you see what's now no my mother we, we signed a baller uh, they we signed a baller uh, I, the, the person I was watching the game with uh, I guess I don't know why I keep on saying the person I was saying <laughs> uh, let, let me just name it so the the game the basket basket but yeah let's see who this now my mother they've been raving about after first touch where well, I know this guy is a good football first touch fan. first touch I know this guy is a good football I don't know no baller TV one more <laughs> that's that's that was Muskepper's words. Like it's it's crazy. Like ah man, I think having Kapinga and 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 now my man one team should be illegal. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like and the, yeah. these these guys are both 25 years old and they were they, they still post Mushishi, post Sereno. We still have those guys. We are really in good yeah. hands. We are really really in good hands. What a good footballer. So smooth on the ball. Yeah. Uh, makes the right decisions. I love him. I like him. I'm so. <laughs> well, one well, like this is what you must do. For in, I didn't have confidence. Yeah, I didn't no. have confidence in him when he was coming in. I was like, "Who's this now?" <laughs> Going forward, oh, boy, yes, yes. I think a lot of people would you're, actually you're, want to see Neoma Emma in the starting lineup in the first game of the season. Like that's how good he was. Yes, and then, plus, I have a weakness for like left-footed players, like in like. Left-footed players like Liga Jimmy Kisalela Jabulani Shong. Like I, I love left-footed players. Um, I think 
Neo was sublime. Um, I think that's how that's how you you know like that's how you play a debut match. Like if you sign for a big team and like I'm more you a volunteer, go sell tick, Bob. What this I don't really patella name. So I can't catch you. Nobody patella. Like I was on a ball patella. Oko no bono rumuto was. Otla kotla le ingi like. Uti lega mera. Yeah. But I was really happy with performance and Neomai. I'm like going forward. Like you don't have Temba Zwane. Uh, you don't have Gaston. Uh, uh, Neo is there. Kapinga is there. I just need Kapinga to reach full fitness, and I think we will feast. Uh, so, mm. Lee, what rating would you give uh, Neo after that performance? Six point five. Wow, Lee is a natural at this thing. <laughs> no, Lee, Lee has been doing this thing for too long. You can see. <laughs> no, that's a, that's a perfect rating. That's, yeah. a, that's a perfect rating. That's a really perfect rating. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't really... I, I didn't see much of, of him. Like, I don't think he had enough time to really show what he has. Sure, and I, yeah. I, think, I, I, think, I think we all just want him to be successful, Bila Bil. Yeah, yeah. No, definitely. I don't, think, I don't think we're going to be too harsh on him. Yeah, but I don't think today we'll... we'll, we'll he, I think 15 minutes when the team was tired. I think... I don't think... Yes, he played enough minutes, but I don't think he was involved in the uh, in the action enough mm-hmm. for us to rate him fairly. Um, yeah. in, in the, <laughs> he wasn't involved enough in the action. You're right. Like, I can only imagine, like... If he was around between that period that we were taking Chiefs' first half, you can only imagine, Nori. And the as a, as a good of a finisher as he is, like how many? I think he's got like out of the ten or eleven league goals he scored last season. I think he had like four or five outside the box, ne? Yeah, that's yeah. the type of variation you need. That's the type of variation you need. Yeah. Uh, who uh, are we done? Like with the with all the players, Kutumela was the last one, ne? Yeah, Kutumelo was the last one. Yeah. Um, it's time to to rate the coaches out of 10. Uh, it's going to be a tricky one, eh? It's going to be a tricky one. Uh, I'll just listen to you guys. Uh, now you can go first and then we'll hear what Lee says afterwards. No, I'm not rating. I, I'll, I'll, I'll give a review. I thought mm. they got the starting uh, lineup right. I thought the yeah. tactics were, were right in terms of how we approached the game. And for me, it's not their fault that players had lapses in concentration. Uh, their subs as well, let me look. Who do they bring it first? Rafanko? Mm. Can you blame them much uh, when mm. you... Uh, I can't blame them for bringing uh, 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 Safranco on. Um, uh, they brought in Neoma Emma, who did really good. Uh, and Tabiso Kutumela. I mean, I mean, what 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 wrong did the coaches do, Gajin? And uh, even when we, we bottled a two 0 lead, we must say when the coaches deserve a perfect rating. That's all I'm gonna say. Mm. Yeah, wow. I agree with Neil. What what rating do you give the the coaches, Leo, out of ten? Um, I'll give them a six for getting the starting lineup correct. <laughs> <laughs> and then the rest of the four, where did it? Where did they fall short? <clears throat> My problem is the San Franco guy, man. They didn't get it right. They... <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. no. The, emotions, the emotions are chiefs. Yeah, yeah. No, but I think a six is a low rating. I think. For me, it must be between at least a seven and a nine. Boy, what 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 did they do wrong? Like, I don't think they did anything wrong. The coaches today, yeah, they got everything Personal. correct. To be honest, yeah. Personally, for me, I think they they moved well. That's why I'm saying between a seven and a nine, and I'm leaving more to actually between an eight and a nine. Obviously, ten because we didn't win. We cannot get a ten. That's how we never had to get a ten. There's no way. Yeah, but to be honest with you, like, uh, to be honest with you, like, uh, when we were at our best, it, 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 it looked very good. Uh, it's like the first eight league games we played last season, like, when we were at the peak and the height of smack ball, smack football, like, you saw that, Kachinu, and uh, what I like is that you saw smack, Kabumvala, 
Lebo Domingo, the people yeah. who were not really involved, Kasmeg at the beginning of the season. So you can only imagine mm-hmm. what, what are we going to see if you have a Kemet Erasmus there, you have a Lebu, you have a Spelele, you have a Serena, you know what I mean? Uh, 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 to be honest, like, nah, I think the league shouldn't have allowed us for a rebelly place like Bukutumela, Neomaye, Makapika, <laughs> knowing very well who Sizini is only starting. Resailo Bashapagabo did get it double wide, deleted diagonal dodge. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's, 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 yeah, it's, yeah. Oh, yeah, the, 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 the double wide, the boy, yeah. lady, lady hexagon in the final third. I mean, really, the language is double wide. Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, yeah. Nah. I think I think. Yeah, no. Yeah, rate the coaches. I think you should rate the coaches. Yeah, I think now nah, I'm gonna give the coaches an eight. Yeah. I think I'm gonna give them an eight. Um, other than that, Sidin Chikimaka. I think after we all watch this, we must go to to Liz's Twitter account and retweet her pin tweet. I'm sure why easily and not after she's lose, she's gonna see a retweet from me every other every other game. Of course. No, we'll we'll put it we'll put we'll put it somewhere here. You'll find yeah. the tweet somewhere here. Don't worry. Exactly. Yeah. Somewhere, somewhere yeah. on the right corner here. Like it should be here now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but yeah, um that's it, guys. Uh you know, starting a season like last season, our first game of the league. Uh, we played against Chiefs or Russia, but not, now we play them in a preseason cup and we beat them. I think a perfect season would be beating this team home and away. You know, like how we did Pirates, Russia Pile yeah. home and away, Russia Balka Cup. I think a perfect season for me yeah. is punishing Kaiser Chiefs. Nah, I no longer get joy out of beating Pirates. Like we've done that so many times. Nah, I need us to consistently <laughs> punish this team because even at the West, Chiefs. Hey, so like I really need us to like. Like Reba Shape home and away, like they really must feel it. And what I like about Chiefs is that they've only had a month break because they only played Champions League final last month, and then the last week they played the Beer Cup. Now they just started the season. Now uh, they're playing again, yeah. Exactly. I foresee <laughs> a very, 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 very drunk season, not even hangover season. Like I foresee a bad season for them. <laughs> um and may long it continue, long may it continue. Like I need to see Chiefs in like 14, 13. But yeah, <laughs> this is a good way to start the season. Like, to be honest, like, whatever happens now in the MTN8 is just a bonus. Like, we took care of... Yeah, it's just a bonus, guys. <laughs> we took care of the major business. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's always a good a good, a good, a good uh, start to, to be Chiefs in the beginning of the season. Whether Dala Makufe or Dala Maze Mean or Dala Dala or central I mean Puja Chiefs I mean, it's always it's always a, a good thing to start the season. And yeah, yeah. Should, next next week we're playing Benny's boys, uh, our fellow Kev uh, Champions League uh, 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 team in South Africa. So that, that should be the one that we're excited for. Uh obviously, but beating Chiefs is always a bonus, guys. And yeah, thank you guys. Definitely. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Lee, for joining us. Uh, we'll announce something very nice uh, in the next coming days uh, with regards to to Lee being on uh, uh, um, on the channel. Uh, yeah, wasn't a bad start today. Uh, but yeah, as long as Chiefs <laughs> continues losing, all is well in the world. Is the Chiefs level 11 11 good training? Can you have a G or a draw? <laughs> but yeah man uh thank you, you so much thank, thank you so much for watching uh please uh, continue to subscribe to masandana fan vlog uh, like all our videos uh share our videos and uh we'll continue bringing nice content this season thank you lee thank you guys for having me sharp sharp but thank you uh homo limo you can continue to go in sure. uh, uh, uh briar mask bear 60 randomo Ha ha ha